In this segment of the Family Data Webinar, we'll be going through typical reports you might run. So we'll click on Reports, Standard Reports, we'll open up the Family Data Reports, and we'll go through this list as far as how they're broken out. Account information gives you information either from the account level and all the children that they include, or from the child level letting you know who the parents are or who the relationships are. If you're not sure what a report does, feel free to run it. No data is going to change. And at the bottom here, you'll see what that particular report does and what it provides. So as you click on different reports, you'll get different descriptions. So you could find out ahead of time before you run it. Address labels are available in a lot of different formats. Child enrollment. Because you have the ability to record each and every change in enrollment date, you can get reports where you could say, tell me all of the changes in enrollment statuses between January and March. You could also get, for instance, enroll children by classroom. Let's say I run that for right now, this week. And this is what's called a drill down report. In the primary classroom, if I wanted to know who is enrolled in that twos room, I can double click and I get a listing of child by child. These are usually called drill down menus and you'll often see double click at the bottom in the description. If you're running schedules, you'll want some type of schedule report. If you're not running schedule, bypass these. If your children are on schedules and your employees are on schedules, these are really nice reports to know whether or not you're going to be in ratio at some point in the future. And those are discussed in the scheduling webinar. The next section down is filtered reports. And they are what they are. They're reports where you can decide that you only want to run it, let's say, for a certain classroom or a certain tracking item or something like that. Uh, the school directory reports are the largest piece of reports in here. So if you need to provide something for your parents that's a list of everybody in the center, this would be a good report to run. Immunization summary is just that. Based on your immunization requirements, you can get a report on who is due or coming due, what are, what's the full history of each child, immunization due as opposed to immunization and requirement due. And again, another couple of reports on that. Roll calls. If you're running a roll call, the biggest decision you need to make is, are you running schedules or not? If you're using schedule, you'll probably want to run a roll call that has the word schedule in it. If you need it down to the minute, you might run, a, run actual schedule. If you're not using schedules, run a roll call that does not have the word schedule in it. The same is true for sign in and out sheets. If you are using those, you can either use them based on the primary classroom or on the scheduled classroom. Tracking reports give you a way to summarize for a given tracking item who is attached to that particular tracking item. User defined is a variant of tracking. It's basically more of a free form of text and you can make the same type of rules and filters to find only certain date ranges or whatever you had in the user defined field. I'm going to exit out of here. There's one additional area. If there's a report you cannot find, you could look at reports data viewer and data viewer gives you views of a particular set of data. They're not reports in themselves, but if you wanted to, you could come up with some rules to say, okay, I only want to see people in a certain classroom or certain dates of birth or something like that. And then you can use this to either generate a simple report or you can actually export it if you want to. Exporting, by the way, can be done on any report. So if you run a report and you want to save it as a PDF or let's take a child information sheet, I run the report for whatever statuses I want. Here in the top left, I can export the report and I can save it as a number of different things. So you might save it as a PDF. You might save it as an Excel document. Although if you're going to bring it into Excel, you're probably better off selecting Excel data only. And that's about it.